Hi guys, um, this is my third video. Um, I know that the quality of the video are not that great, and, but I still thank you to having a look and uh, I'll encourage you to leave some comment and some suggestions, some advice on how to do better things. Uh, um, at the end of the day, what I'm trying to do is just to document uh, this crazy idea of mine that uh, at my uh, retirement age, I decide to conquer my fear of the of the water by buying a boat and learning how to sell. Of course, before we can sell, there's a lot of things to do and the engine and the floor and things. So we are tackling this um, these things now and it's going to take a while, but um, hopefully it's going to be fun for you as much as it is for me. And um, I hope I can uh, continue to amuse you for a long time until we get uh, the complexion of this project, which is uh, ultimately to become a fully electric uh, uh, yacht. So thank you very much again for watching and uh, enjoy this video and please let me know your opinion. Thank you very much again. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we left you last time that uh, we were just ready to lift the boat and take it back to the water, but let's have a quick look what we've done. Um, we finished the, the anti-falling, we touch up the water line and uh, a good paint as well above the water line. And, um, we scrub the propeller, uh, check the anode, and basically try to do everything you should be doing uh, before it goes back under water. Um, I think we've done a good job. They both look very good and nice and clean, so I'm quite happy with it. We even managed to have a look at this, um, um, at the bracket at the, at the back of the boat, this one here. Uh, this is our auxiliary engine uh, bracket. Um, it's absolutely not safe. The old bracket is all uh, um, made uh, um, with a stainless steel frame but with a rotten boat, so we wouldn't put any weight on that. Um, so the lift is uh, ready to lift up and let's go into water now. <coughs> here you go. It is now slowly, slowly put it back on the water. We're going to spend a couple of hours here and we're going to try to install the mast and the rigging ourselves um, as we couldn't find anybody working on a Saturday. Uh, the marina obviously is going to help us with the, um, with the crane to, and get the mast standing while we uh, fix all the, um, the wire of the rigging. Uh, it should be easy as I, I noticed that it's been uh, clearly marked, so let's hope. Okay, the mast is up and all the wire are attached. As I said before, uh, the job was made easy by the fact that all the, uh, the turnback order were marked exactly how far we have to uh, wind them up and so they give us a good balance um, left and right in the detention. Um, unfortunately we couldn't install all the wiring because uh, at the front uh, there was one uh, pin missing. We don't know exactly what happened but you know so many parts one must have slipped on the, on the water. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue with the safety at the moment just because we have to pull the boat into the marina board and that's what we are doing. We're just waiting for the boat to arrive and then uh, we'll go. We've now been uh, pulled out uh, uh, from the slipway. It's going to take us into the, um, uh, where there's more space to turn the boat around and so it can hook us from the front and uh, guide us uh, inside the marina. As we start moving, we heard a very loud noise coming from below. So we went down and uh, we see this um, the shaft, which was originally attached to the engine, uh, banging against the arm. And so we put a carpet to uh, lower the noise. Um, we're now being towed from the front and into the marina. The interesting part about that uh, image of the turning shaft is that um, um, this is what is going to happen when we are sailing. The, the, the propeller will be spinned by the water and we can use that energy to connect with a, a generator and create power to eventually charge our battery. So now we're going to go into the marina and just tidy up over there. Here it is. And uh, we're going to start to do some work and hopefully manage to do some selling as well. Straight at work. Uh, we're cutting now the board that we're going to use for the floor just so to have a, a stable place where to work on. Uh, in the meantime, we are uh, tidying up all the plumbing and the electrical underneath and trying to put it all in one corner so we can decide where to put uh, the inspection hole to make things a little bit easier. The base for the floor is um, a solid and ready and it looks good. And now we can start to make um, a plan for the rest. Um, uh, of course, uh, the, the flooring cover will come last at the moment. It's just a bare plywood. So this area here, we decide that um, we're going to use it as a bed because the V-bird is actually too narrow, too pointy and really uncomfortable to use as a, a 
accommodation. So uh, what we're going to do, um, we're going to build uh, over here a uh, slide out bed, like uh, the one that very often is seen on the, on the camper van. Uh, in the meantime, we've done the framing to accommodate the kitchen, the galley cabinets, pardon, here probably, don't know, an extension on the bench, but we haven't decided really uh, yet what to do. Uh, just um, below here is where one of the water tank will be. We have to modify the inlet and outlet. It's sitting here at the moment. That's the other water tank on the other side. Not much has been done in this side yet. Um, just a lot of junk around, but it's all is all with throwing away, fixing and changing, etc. We have uh, made up uh, the frame for the slide out bed but to be honest i'm not so sure i like the idea it's a bit too complex sliding is scratching here and there so we may just gonna can this idea and go back to a different different one we have uh, installed uh, the galley cabinet and cut up the hole for the sink and we just position temporarily the tap just to see if it fits or not and at the back of the day we're going to cover all the area of course and uh, uh, build some uh, shelf and uh, little cabinets just to hold up all the dry food that you need uh, if you want to cook something. There's some plenty of space underneath as well. In this space here the bench top is going to be extended a bit and that's the bench top uh, down there. Um, we're going to create uh, probably a couple of large or, or some storage space anyway. We'll see what to do. We are just uh, readjusting the space where the sink uh, fit in so we can glue it and uh, finish this cabinet and install uh, uh, the bench top. <clears throat> just a quick look of the installed bench with the sink and the tap uh, fixed in, not with the plumbing, that will come later, and uh, hey, believe it or not, this thing is even level. A quick look around to see what does need to be done, I mean a lot of things of course, a lot of wire still to be done, uh, but in the meantime I reattached the wire coming down from the mast, so at least we got the basic light working. Speaking of wiring, um, I need to redirect all this wiring, which are the control for the electric toilet, um, which is not working very well, but um, in the meantime I'm going to just position um, a switch inside um, uh, the actual cubicle, so it's much more, uh, much easier than before that it was on the main panel. So I just uh, pull new wire in and uh, creating all the connection. This is the switch installed now. And, um, and then uh, we're going to have to give it a go and see how it works. I did have my doubt about this um, toilet. It was not very efficient a couple of times I used it. Um, so in fact, uh, funny noise was coming out from the, from the uh, macerators. So I decided to pull it apart and have a look. And surprise, surprise, the uh, impeller was uh, completely destroyed. There was not one piece of blade left. So I just went um, to the local Bursco and pick up uh, a kit and um, I'm going to replace it and hopefully it's going to work this time. Forget about it. I got a new one because I did try it. I pulled it apart and I replaced the propeller but then one of the studs uh, broke off and I looked better and uh, there's a lot of uh, corrosion due to a leak due to this seal. And so I said, well, what else is going to go wrong now? And I decided it was not really worth it. And I throw it away and get a new one. Okay, toilet working, job done, finish. No more toilet for today. And I think we finished the video here. Now, I was not going to close the video with the toilet flushing. So here is a further fair with the progress on the outside as well. The cells and the boom is, is installed. Everything is uh, ready. Um, above and uh, we've done um, a lot of maintenance uh, like winches and new new line and new sheets and uh, lubricate everything and we what we're trying to do is to take a break on this avia fit and get out on the water our actually actually our engine is now a different one we find a, a long shaft uh, with remote control which just finished to install and this will be our engine uh, to get in and out of the bay until the um, Electric refit is done, but that's uh, a few months away. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, and hopefully, I'll be able to show you this boat out on the water while we're having some fun and sailing away. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. See you next time.